closely as Congress haggles over the president's proposed infrastructure bill. Yeah, they hope affordable housing will be part of it. This as we're getting a look at new statistics on Utah's red hot housing market. Daniel Woodruff has more on the story tonight. The housing crunch is getting even tighter here in Utah and across the country. One major organization says there need to be investments made in affordable housing and they're monitoring Congress closely to see what might be done. The same trends that we're seeing in Utah are happening all across the country, whether it's in rural areas or suburban areas. There's a severe shortage of housing that's affordable to people with the very lowest incomes. Sarah Sadian is vice president of public policy for the National Low Income Housing Coalition. She spoke to the Utah Housing Coalition today. She told them the country needs large scale resources that address the underlying causes of the housing crisis and that also help low income renters. Her organization is watching the negotiations over the infrastructure bill right now. They hope that housing will be part of that legislation and also other major bills going forward. Meanwhile, on the home sale side of things, new data from Zillow showed just how hot Utah's housing market is. The company says the Salt Lake City metro area led the way in April in the highest share of homes sold within a month. And just 2.7 percent of houses in the SLC area stayed on the market two months or longer. That's the smallest percentage in the country. The median time on the market in Utah, according to Zillow, is just five days. We've done a lot of reporting on the housing market and on affordability here at KUTV. For all of our stories, you can head to KUTV.com. Daniel Woodruff, 2 News.